All right, there it is, uh, the Great Lobster Cookbook. And we have uh, Chef Matt Dean Pettit is here with the uh, Rock Lobster Food Company, uh, which is out of Toronto, a couple of uh, stores in Toronto. And you've also got a, um, a, a line that's right across Canada in seafood. We as do, well. we do, yeah. Thanks for having me this morning. Yeah, great to be here. Glad yeah, you're here. Thank you. Um, and so you were saying that uh, you've got uh, like uh, lobster mac and cheese, yeah. and you've got lots of good stuff. What, where's the love of lobster come from? You know what? The love of lobster was always as a kid, um, my parents are. Uh, probably watching right now back home in Ontario. Hey, yeah. what's up? And it's, hi, uh, hi, mom and dad. And I was raised by uh, a couple of hippies that, uh, you know, always said, Maddie, just be passionate in anything you want to do. And when I was a kid, I loved eating seafood. We used to do a lot of trips out east, you know, to Halifax and St. John's and all these different places. And lobster and seafood was obviously such an integral part. Yeah. But it was always expensive. And so for my birthday dinners, I always wanted to go for seafood and lobster specifically. Mm. And as I got older... Uh, because I couldn't eat it every day, and not everybody can because of price point or whatever, right. my goal as I got older and became an adult and started getting my own restaurants and getting into culinary uh, since a kid was always to make it approachable right. and accessible. And you said taking, uh, taking the older recipes and they have and, and sort of mixing them up a little bit and totally. having some fun with it yeah. and, and more your style. More right? my style. I think, you know... Uh, yeah, I love going into fine dining restaurants, but at the end of the day, too, I think, you know, if you can make seafood or food in general yeah. approachable in any format, whether it be steaks and what have you, you know, to your point, we do an old school dish here, like uh, Oysters Rockefeller. Yeah. You know, obviously, we're on the West Coast, so you got to represent beautiful West Coast oysters. Yeah, that's right. So they're, you know, that's like a side you of the steak. the big ones, right? It is a big <laughs> one. That thing's like a whole steak in itself. But we take the oyster, we pop it out. Uh, you know, those take a while to shuck. You set it out in its liquor, in its liquor, in its oyster juice. Yeah. Uh, a, in a pot pan, a little bit of uh, butter, garlic, shallot. You want to get some baby spinach in there. You put some lobster meat in. You put a little bit of Parmesan Reggiano or Grana Padano and a little, little bit of lemon. And then I torch that with a torch. We can do that for any little barbecue party, you know, yeah. a little barbecue letter sure, if it yeah, works. Yeah. Or just pop it in the oven for about six to eight minutes, nice. which is amazing. And you've got, uh, you've got the second dish that we're going to talk about Classic, real quick. classic. So that is a bacon-wrapped scallop dish, one of my family's favorites. Uh, again, a dish that my mom used to make as a kid. I just sort of jacked it up with, you know, lobster inside. So smoked bacon, beautiful. You lay it out on a baking sheet, crisp it up. You've got beautiful sea scallops from the East Coast. Uh, and then a little bit of lobster. You want to hit it with a little bit of wine. You put it in a pan. Sort of bring it all together. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it is. It looks tasty. The, the chowder. And then you've got a, a completed chowder, but let's talk about how to make this chowder. Absolutely. To begin with. And Absolutely. You're a red or white fan. So I'm a white fan. Yeah. Yeah, that's very Ace Ventura of you right there. It's like <laughs> the red or the white. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Uh, I'm a white fan, so a red being, you know, a Manhattan tomato based. Yeah. Uh, this is more of a base of a, a New England style. Cool. But uh, we are on the West Coast, and you guys seem a little more healthier than, than me, maybe back in Ontario. And so we went a little less cream. So I like okay. to make it a little thinner so okay. what we do so we got here you have a uh, lobster, lobster stock. stock so we've already cooked our lobster power of tv yeah you know ala voila right here so we've picked our lobster meat we've got it sitting so we've inched up some beautiful little potatoes mm -hmm. so again you want to bring that lobster stock we're getting a nice little you know facial and all that yeah you can smell that it smells it's, amazing it's right unbelievable yeah so cook your lobster keep the take the shells out you know keep the all the beautiful essence in here so you've got your potatoes we're going to go in with our corn you can use if it's in se not in season you can use uh, frozen corn which okay. is great as well too again if you don't and you want to stick seasonal and uh, and only local then of course you know just omit the corn as they say okay we're going to go there so we're going to go a little I don't bit i know you can omit corn in in chowder yeah i know <laughs> it's, it's kind of right it, it is a big thing yeah you know, a little cream. A little cream, right? Gives it that beautiful white color like we were talking about. So you want to go in there. Again, I like to work with cream. You know, again, you I, I hate when soups are just creamy, creamy thickness, and it's that sort of all you can eat for the day. Right. So at the end of the day, you can always add a little more cream as you go. We're going to hit it with a little pinch of cayenne. Okay. We're going to hit it with a little coarse sea salt there. Now, when you cook your lobsters down yep. uh, to, to get this um, get this stock to begin with, how long do you cook that for? Is it so what you want to do is, uh, the rule of thumb is you want to cook your lobster generally about eight to nine minutes per pound. So, okay. for example, if you have a lobster that's a pound, eight to nine minutes. Okay. Um, so you'd want to pop it down here, take the lobster out, right. put it into an ice bath, and then that way it stops the freezing, right? You're shocking it. Pick the meat, and then you want that stock to just reduce. So you're sitting there with orange, lemon, bay leaf, peppercorns, and you yep. get that beautiful flavor. Nice. So the flavor is going to reduce. Again, this lobster is the Boston Laga Chowda. And so <laughs> if we're in Boston, right, with our friends at Sam Adams. So you do have to add a little bit of beer. Of course. It adds a nice little richness and caramel. So that's just about a, 
I like your little bit of. Yeah. <laughs> you, you cook like you cook like I, I like. I do. You know what I mean? Of. That's why I'm not a pastry chef. That's you know right. what I mean? I'm a, I'm a savory. I'm a savory cook and That's a savory right. chef. Or go French, right? And go French, exactly. Yeah, right. A little bit of this. You saw the, you know, they saw the salt over the shoulder there. <laughs> you know. And here comes the lobster. Here comes the lobster. And what you could do a few different ways too. And if you want to, one you can go right in, which we'll do here today. Yeah. But if you're at home and you've got, you want to make sure that you're spacing this out evenly. Yeah. Take your bowls, lay them out nice and clean, and then you can put this in the bottom and then pour your soup over, right? So oh, even idea, distribution, yeah. right? For sure. So we'll go in here today just because I know everybody in the studio is going to want to eat that after. We won't leave anybody so out. So how long do you how long will you cook this down for? So now? I want to re reduce and cook that down for probably about 45 minutes. So okay. you just put that on low. And if you want to thicken it up to just give a little more, a little more bone and a little more base to it, is I like to use cornstarch. Okay. So cornstarch meaning that you can be gluten free. Right. Good right? idea. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I love it. So that's good. And there, of course, is the finished product right there, and it looks spectacular. So, pretty tasty. You know what I mean? Well, At the end of the day, yeah, we can. Let's. There you go. Jump right in. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this bowl yeah. over and try a little bit there of this because I want to see what this is like. Jump and in. there's the book as well, Matt Dean Pettit's book, The Great Lobster Cookbook, is available from claw to tail. And trust me, there's a lot of great recipes, including the one I mentioned to you that I, we were looking at, and that's the lobster roll, which he said yeah. is a bit of a staple of your restaurant. It is. Yeah, we've won the best lobster roll now in uh, back in Toronto now for for three years running. Also, the best Caesar in Canada, mm. garnished with a beautiful lobster tail and. Yeah, this is an amazing market here in Vancouver, so hopefully one day we can come and open a shop out here. Great to meet you, my you friend. Too. Thanks for coming Thank in you. town. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, go check it out if you're in Toronto, or of course, or get the book as well, The Great Lobster Cookbook. We're back in a couple of minutes. Chowder, by the way, off the chain. Mm -hmm.